Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. I'm in Manila, Philippines. And for lunch today, I am eating at a Filipino roadside restaurant. This is one of the restaurants that I am most looking forward to eating at. This place is on the corner of the road. There's a mechanic shop kind of surrounding. It's a, it's a great environment. And the Filipino food they serve here looks absolutely incredible. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Atina. Atina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How old are you? Four. There were so many restaurants I was looking forward to eating at in Manila, but the legendary Alin Sosing's Carinderia, located on the corner of a neighborhood street, shaded by a giant mango tree with an impressive array of Filipino food, was a local spot I couldn't wait to try. Like most carinderias, or local Filipino food restaurants in the Philippines, to order, all you have to do is walk up to the front of the stall, check out all the glorious dishes in front of you, and pick and choose whatever you like. One tilapia. And one tilapia, yes please. Oh, thank you. Oh, squid. Can I have squid also? And also this, and also one plate of this one. Pak bet. yes. Okay, and two, two rice. The most challenging part is not ordering everything you see. Oh yeah, Micah's looking at all that food. Micah, look at all that food. I had read that this place will get just absolutely jam-packed at lunchtime, so luckily Ying and I came here right at 11 a.m. We arrived here, there were tables open, but right now as we sat down, it's, it's completely full. There are no more tables left. People are gonna start waiting. And it's not even lunchtime yet. It's just 11 a.m. It is a Carinderia style restaurant. It's a local Filipino food restaurant. And you walk up to the front. They have all of the dishes prepared, all of the different stews and all of the different, the different um, common, typical Filipino dishes. And then they also are known for their grilled tilapia. And they're also known for their, their inihao na liempo, which is the, the grilled pork belly. So I, this is one of those restaurants where you could just stand up there and point and pick and choose to so many dishes and you, it, it's hard to know when to stop because you wanna, you wanna eat it all. This is also a great time to come to this restaurant because you see all the dishes are prepared. And one, another thing I read about this restaurant is that they don't recook any food or they don't cook any more dishes. So once that dish is gone, you're out of luck. They won't, they won't have it again for the rest of the day. I gotta start with the signature dish, which is their grilled pork. They have it all in just slabs of pork belly that they grill like that. Uh, but then when you order it, they chop it up into bite-sized pieces. It's big bite-sized pieces. And you can see the, oh, that's the, that's the skin right there, that, that chewy, chewy skin. Whoa, I think I'm just gonna go in with my fingers for this. I wanna get a, a piece for my first bite that includes all, all layers of the of the belly. Oh yeah, you can see the skin, the fat, and immediately I can feel the juices coming on my fingers when I when I pick that up. It's so smoky, and then the meat is tender, but then the the skin is is pretty rubbery. Um, but that. That's all part of the textural experience. Next up, I'm gonna try the fish, but I think I'm gonna make my sauce first with calamansi and chilies. I think this might be soy sauce. I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna go for the soy sauce, and then I'm gonna add this to my, my chili bowl. And then squeeze in the calamansi. Oh yeah. This is the sauce of champions. Oh. And then just kind of mash up this chili a little bit. I'm gonna definitely ask them for some more chilies. Actually, at the front there, they had a whole pan full of chilies, so I think you can maybe just go up there and self-serve yourself. All right, that's gonna be perfect for the fish. Okay, grilled tilapia here. Oh, that feels nice and soft. Oh, oh, oh you can see how juicy it is too there. Oh, wonderful. And I gotta go in for some of that chili and that soy sauce and 
and goodness. Oh, look at that bite. Oh no, I lost the chili. The chili fell over. Okay, I'll scoop that back into my spoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that tilapia is so nice and, and juicy. And it has a nice smoky flavor. And then that just that simple sauce, the soy sauce with the citrusy calamansi. And a calamansi has a flavor that's, I think it's somewhere halfway in between an orange and a lemon. Maybe it has like a little bit of a sweet tinge to it compared to a lime or a lemon. But it still has that, that nice sour citrusy flavor. That's just a simple sauce combination that you can basically eat with everything. This is a Filipino dish that I, I think it's eggplant, there's okra, there are long beans, and there's bitter melon as well. And if I remember correctly, this dish, there's some, some shrimp paste or some krill paste that gives it its flavor. So I will, I will dig into some, oh, and I think we might have, have some, some fried pork in here that gives it its flavor too. Put this onto my rice. Oh, that's awesome. It has a really nice garlicky taste to it. That's really garlicky. And then you have, I did get a piece of like crispy pork belly, I think in that bite. And that pumpkin is amazing. It's not, it's not like mushy at all. It's kind of like a, or maybe it's a squash. Um, because it's a very, it has a very silky texture to it rather than being that like kind of mushy dry texture. That's delicious. I gotta take one more bite of that. Extraordinary actually, extraordinary. And I'm gonna follow that with some of the soup. Oh wow. I was actually expecting it to be plainer than that. Oh, that's really good. A little bit sour, and it has a very, very meaty, meaty broth taste, taste to it. And yet it's not, not too salty. And the next dish I ordered is caldereta. And this is another well-known Filipino dish, but this is a, like a stew is onto my rice. Let me get a little bit more of that sauce. Oh, I love the, the sour taste to it. Mm, kind of rich, kind of oily stew with a sour taste. And then that meat is so tender. That will be really good with a chili on it. As soon as you bite into that chili, that's just an eruption of, of chili. Oh, that makes, that, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a chili addict. But that is really, really good. And next I've got a squid dish. Oh, a leaf has fallen into the squid. And this is, I think it's black ink with the squid. Let me just taste one of the, the little heads, actually. Put this onto my, put this onto my rice. Oh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit more of that, that squid sauce. Oh, look at that darkness. That's very sweet and a little bit sour and salty. It almost tastes like sweet and sour squid. And then the squid, it's very tender, but it almost has like a, you can sense that it has like a little bit of a rubberiness underneath the tenderness. So how they've cooked it, it's very nice and tender. How's the food? Awesome, man. Very, very good. We just ordered some of these grilled pork skewers, pork barbecue. Oh, look at that. That looks wonderful. Okay, let me reach into this pork barbecue. They've just really packed on the meat onto the skewer and then there's a piece of fat at the end here. Oh, that's right off the grill. Oh, that is just ridiculously tender without being too tender. Oh, and that's like a, that's almost has like a, a little bit of a sweet barbecue sauce to it. We didn't order this at first, but then Ying said we should order this. So I'm glad we got it. The texture of that meat. Thank you. Thank you very much. The food is so good. Hello. How are you? Hello. 
nice to meet you. What's your name? Jason. Margarita. Margarita. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. Now we can do some serious chili eating. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, hot, fresh soup. Is it beef? Okay, thank you. Okay, I gotta take a... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's so hot. Oh yeah, it is so rich. Put some of this over the fish. Oh yeah. And a chili. Oh yeah. That completes the trio of flavors. Oh, and that's wonderful. Six hundred dollars. Thank you very much, Sara. Lots of people are coming here for the amazing food, and so we we just finished our meal, and then we got up off the table because people were waiting for our table. So now I'm just standing around, just enjoying the aromas from the food and from the grill and just this awesome, awesome atmosphere here in Manila. Um, and yeah, if you're looking for some properly good local Filipino food in Manila, this is a Carinderia, a local Filipino food restaurant that you don't want to miss. The grilled dishes are good. The All the different dishes that you can pick, to, pick and choose from at the front are good. The owners are really friendly. This is another restaurant that just has it all. Good food, good atmosphere great people and yeah I'm loving it a meal like this just makes me so happy and just like gives me so much energy so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here please remember to click like click thumbs up thank you very much for watching and also if you're not already subscribed subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos thank you again for watching and I will see you on the next video goodbye from Manila